Only on 7 tonight, more massive settlements by the city of Detroit being paid out to men wrongfully convicted of murder. In the last two weeks, two men received a total of $16 million after 20 years in prison. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is looking into where the money comes from and how the city plans to address future cases. Well, I got incarcerated like in 1999. Um, I think I was like 24. Really, I missed out on life in general. You know, saying the uh, possibilities of experiencing life, doing something different in life, uh, having children. For Just Lee Johnson, serving 20 years in prison for a Detroit murder he did not commit was a living nightmare. And to this day, he's left recalling many moments he'll never get back. Birthdays, you know, saying seeing my nephews born. You know, it, it, it's a lot. It's a measure of saying, I'm sorry, how can we make it right? Attorney specializing in wrongful conviction cases, Wolf Mueller represents Justly and Kendrick Scott, who were both exonerated for murder. Wolf says Detroit has now paid out close to 25 million in settlements from the city's general fund, including 8 million each to Justly and Kendrick. How is it that two young men were convicted and incarcerated for more than 20 years they threatened and coerced a young 16-year-old kid into implicating Justly and uh, Kendrick Scott. Since the 1999 murder, Wolf says it's been about raising awareness. Councilman Coleman Young Jr. among those who voted to approve a payout. These young men should not have been locked up in the first place, first and foremost. How concerned are you about having adequate funding for these settlements? I'm very concerned. We've had discussions about this. We had discussions about what's upcoming. We've had discussions about these cases. Detroiters also sharing their thoughts. They didn't commit the murder, so they got they locked up and they should, feel they should get paid for all that time they lost. It's, it's due. Yeah, so I, I don't see any issues with that. Councilman Young Jr. says at this point, a separate fund has not been created to handle these settlements. However, discussions are underway to ensure that the city is equipped to deal with these payouts. From downtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.